uh, I am not willing to kick this can down the road, and I'm willing to entertain conversations, but I am not willing to do nothing. And I've been that. I've been very clear. We are meet, we've met with I, I think not all members of the legislature, but pretty close at this point. And I have said that to every one of them. Are you speaking of PERS? Yes. Okay. Yes. What yes. do you think of the legislature's idea, some of the things they're looking at, which we've written about, um, lengthening the amortization of uh, dealing uh, with the UAL, giving, do you, should we give the legislature the ability to um, mess with uh, the anticipated rates of return that the PERS board currently sets? I haven't seen that proposal specifically. I would be concerned about that. So uh, I, I, what I tried to do in meeting with legislators was to lay out my goals. One, uh, very briefly, uh, make sure that we are stabilizing employer rates for K through 12 schools. And number two, ensuring the financial viability of the PERS system as a whole, uh, particularly for the long term, uh, ensuring the security of our retirement for our hardworking public employees. In terms of uh, principles, I've had multiple, including a don't, not interested in kicking the can down the road. And that could mean both delaying costs and uh, not doing anything this session, and I'm not willing to do that. But it also means this has to be a shared responsibility, um, that I am not willing to do this on the backs of our public employees, that taxpayers need to step up in some way, somehow, some form. Um, I'm open about how we do that. Um, so those are what I've been talking to legislators about. I know there are a number of conversations happening in the building. Um, I, I think um, it's really important um, that we tackle this issue this session.